Hey everyone, it's Felix from Shorebird, and today I'm really excited to be talking about the new Shorebird and CodeMagic integration that just released a few days ago. Uh, but first, if you're not familiar with Shorebird, uh, we currently are building Code Push for Flutter, and Code Push for Flutter is basically just a cloud service that allows you to push over-the-air updates to users' devices instantly. So if you're trying to fix a bug in production that you accidentally shipped, um, you can fix that bug immediately and you don't have to wait days, weeks, months, whatever it is for the update to get approved and for users to update their apps. You can push that fix immediately and it'll be delivered to users' devices directly. And if you're not familiar with Code Push, uh, with uh, Code Magic, Code Magic is a CI CD solution for mobile uh, which has first party support for Flutter. Um, and we're going to take a closer look at Code Magic and how you can integrate it into your app uh, in just a few minutes. And I'm really excited that Shorebird and Code Magic are working together because now you can leverage both of our services um, directly from within Code Magic's UI. And so, for the sake of this um, demo, I just created an empty Flutter project uh, in a new GitHub repo under my personal GitHub. And the only thing I've done is I've run Flutter create um, and created an empty Flutter project. And then I've run Shorebird init. So, I've initialized Shorebird in this project which is why we have a shorebird.yaml file. So uh, for those of you who haven't maybe done these steps before, we have separate YouTube videos for how to install Shorebird, how to initialize Shorebird. It's really, it's really, really simple, and you can also head over to shorebird.dev uh, for more information. But really all I've done is just created an empty Flutter project and run Shorebird in it, and uh, I've committed all that and pushed that to this GitHub repo. And so now I'm going to switch over into the code magic UI, and I don't have any apps, so I'm going to add my first app. I'm going to select GitHub. Um, it's going to be a Flutter app, and then I'm going to pick my Shorebird Code Magic demo. And first thing I notice is now I can choose if I want to publish updates to users' devices using Shorebird. So uh, for this demo, I'm just going to do Android, but you can do iOS. We also support Mac OS, uh, Windows, and Linux. Um, for Shorebird, so you can play around with all those platforms later on. Uh, and for this first workflow, I'm just going to create a release. And so for those of you who are familiar, creating a release is basically the usual workflow that you might be used to if you're uploading to the stores, like the Google Play Store or the App Store. Um, so Shorebird has kind of two core concepts. One is releasing and one is patching. So releasing is your typical flow where you build the app bundle or you build an IPA and you upload that to the stores. And the only difference is with Shorebird, that app now knows how to receive over-the-air updates. And then the second core concept is a patch, which is that over-the-air update. Um, so we're going to start by just setting up a release in Shorebird. And um, the main thing that you really have to do to make this work is provide CodeMagic your Shorebird token. So the quickest way to do that is to flip over to your terminal and run Shorebird login CI. <clears throat> and that's going to have you authenticate using whatever uh, account you've used to actually create the app. Um, and it will give you a token. And this token you can drop in Code Magic. And uh, yeah, everything else I can pretty much leave as default. Uh, I'm going to use the default Flutter version. I'm going to use uh, the root as my project path. So that all looks good. <clears throat> and then I don't really care about tests for this example because it's an empty Flutter project, so we're going to skip that. And I'm just going to hit save. And now we should be able to just start our first build. So I'm going to build the main branch and I'm going to use my default workflow. So let's start it. And that's going to get queued up. And in the meantime, uh, we can head over to the Shorebird console. You can see that I do have my uh, Code Magic demo app here, but it doesn't have any releases yet. So hopefully, once this Code Magic build finishes, we will have a release. And uh, yeah, Code Magic is just going to do its thing. It's going to prepare the build machine. It's going to install everything that it needs, and then it's going to run the release step. And the cool part is, you don't have to have the hardware. Uh, so if you're building for iOS, you can use Code Magic's Macs. You don't have to have a Mac. Um, you can also uh, not have to worry about setting up all the dependencies and everything. Code Magic will do that for you. And they have a bunch of different runners that you can choose from. Um, so it's a super cool service. If you haven't tried it already, I highly recommend using Code Magic. Um, and yeah, we're just going to wait for this to 
chug along, so we'll just fast forward through the build process. It should only take a few minutes, so we'll see you when it's done. And we can see that it's using Shoreward now, which is super cool to build the Android release. So, um, yeah, we'll just let this wrap up. It's using the latest stable Flutter version, which is 3.27.3 at this time. And in a second, we should have a release. I'm gonna also fire up an Android emulator so we can play around with this app really quick. Let's kill all these. Cool. Again, there's like nothing special really happening here. It's just um, the typical build steps that you would also be running if you used a Flutter build, for example. The only difference is the generated app bundle contains Shorebird's updater so that you can actually push patches. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much the same. All right, so we do now have our published release. You can see Codemagic also surfaces the app bundle. And if I flip back over and refresh the console, we have our first Shorebird release, which is awesome. And uh, we can double check that everything worked correctly by uh, flipping over to our local development environment and we can use the Shorebird preview command. And preview basically allows you to run uh, releases that you've uploaded to Shorebird locally so that you can kind of get the same local experience. It's, it's similar to Flutter Run but without the hot reloader and everything. It's all release builds. Um, and so let's do a preview. We only have one version that we just created on Code Magic. Um, and this should get installed on my device. There it is. And sweet, everything seems to be working. Uh, you can see the logs, that there are no updates because we haven't pushed any patches yet. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but yeah, so we've just created a release on Shorebird using Code Magic, which is super sweet. So now let's create a patch. So uh, let's say I messed up and I wanted to update this placeholder text. Uh, I could do hello from Shorebird. And let's say I also wanted to give a background color here. Uh, I don't know, let's do like a pink accent to make it really pop. And let's say uh, those are the fixes that I wanted to make. Pretend like these are some urgent production uh, bugs that I need to fix ASAP. I can uh, push this as another commit. Uh, fix bugs. And now we can create a second code magic workflow. So let's go back to my builds. Uh, and I think I should be able to edit this workflow. How do I edit the workflow? Here we go, duplicate workflow. Let's call this patch workflow and I'll rename the other one to uh, release workflow, there we go. So let's flip over to our patch workflow. Now the only thing I really need to do is check this patch button and then uh, in the shorebird section, uh, the only other thing I'm gonna change here is I'm gonna just type latest because I want whenever this workflow runs, I want it to patch the latest release. Um, you can also specify specific releases that you want to patch, and you could set up uh, more sophisticated systems that use tags, etc., to figure out which uh, versions you want to hotfix. But for the sake of this demo and simplicity, I'm just going to always have Shorebird patch the latest release. Um, everything else I'm leaving the same. Uh, save those changes. And now I can run the patch workflow on the main branch. So let's start that. And again, that's gonna take a couple minutes. It's gonna do the same steps as before. And the only difference is, instead of running Shorebird release as the build step, it's gonna run a Shorebird patch as the build step. Um, so we'll check back in in a few minutes once this is all done. Now we can see that uh, the build step is running Shorebird patch, which is what we want for our patch workflow. And Shorebird Patch still just builds an app bundle on Android, a release build. 
Um, the main thing that is different is it will do a diff between the release that you uploaded and what you have now, and it will upload that diff to Shorebird servers, and then Shorebird servers will distribute that as an over-the-air update to all the devices that are running the corresponding release. Uh, so the patches tend to be really, really small, uh, since the diffs are fairly small. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully see it in action in a few minutes. We'll wrap it up. All right, we are very close to having a patch. There we go, we've published a patch. And this patch, if we uh, look at the output, we can see that it was under 100 kilobytes, so pretty small. Um, and if I flip back over to the code put, uh, the shortboard console and I refresh, we can see that there's now one patch available for this release. Um, we can see that it's active, updated 25 seconds ago. And if I flip back over, let me kill our app and restart it. So uh, what happens is, let's do log cat so we can see the logs. So what happens is when the app is started, it will uh, check automatically if there's an update available. And so you can see it's starting a shoreward update, sending a check, a patch check request. Um, and then we can see that a patch check response was received. So the server notified the app that there was a patch available and we successfully downloaded that patch. And so now the next time a user launches this app, they'll see hello from Shorebird with our pink background. So our hotfix that we pushed over the air is now delivered to users' devices. And we did all this uh, through Codemagic's CICD system uh, so that we didn't have to set up any of the infrastructure ourselves. It was just a couple clicks uh, and we just had to give Shore, uh, Codemagic our Shorebird token and everything else was handled by Codemagic. So that's super, super awesome to see. And uh, for more information, you can learn about uh, Shorebird at shorebird.dev or docs.shorebird.dev. We cover all of this and more. And um, if you want to learn more about Codemagic, just head over to codemagic.io. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.